How are you guys doing? In today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how you can basically unlock both of the new skins. How you can unlock Reuters and Classic Tales. I'm going to be showing you guys how you do that in today's video. How you can basically unlock both of them. And you can also unlock them pretty much instantly. So I am going to get started. Make sure that you guys like and subscribe to my channel with notifications on. Not entirely sure if you guys know this, but I'm basically always doing giveaways on my channel where I give out a ton of Robux. So if you guys want to get yourself free Robux, make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel with notifications on. That is literally all you guys need to do to enter giveaways on my channel. Like and subscribe. You can get free game passes, boost. That's all you need to do. So what are you even waiting for? Make sure for you like and subscribe to my channel right now. What are you even waiting for? Do it right now. Alright guys, so first things first, where you need to go is at spawn. I'm not entirely sure why I'm all the way over here. But we are now back at spawn. And yeah, I mean, as you guys can see, we do need to collect 250,000 time shards. And if you guys want 1000 Robux so you can unlock Classic Tales instantly, all you need to do is like and subscribe to my channel, comment your username and tell me why you want the 1000 Robux, tell me why you want it, is there a reason, can't you like afford Robux, let me know why guys and I'll literally help you out, I don't really mind, but yeah I mean, what we need to do to actually get it legitly is get these shards and there's mini shards as you can see so we got mini shards like this we got mini shards as you can see mini shards and we also got a cluster of shards which are shard clusters that you can bounce into which are scattered around the map not sure why they made that little pattern there if we could ever make a pattern right there we go so we have to do jump up twice to complete the pattern there but that's where one pattern is another pattern is all the way over here personally i think green hill is the best area to actually get crystals because i'll tell you why in a moment but let's break all of these like that there we go there we go let's break these as well like that Let's break these, bang, 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 bang. And you need to do that until you get 250,000. So it's obviously going to take a pretty long time to complete. But once completed, you can actually go ahead and get yourself pretty much. Yeah, once, once you complete that guys, you'll get classic tales. So uh, let me show you guys the best method. Personally, I think the best method in Green Hill or Lost Valley. Let's have a look in Lost Valley and let's see if it's any good or not. It's probably not, is it? Yeah, I knew it. Okay, so it's Green Hill. Lost Valley is terrible. It's always Green Hill that's the best. Well, it was World 5 until they removed it. It was unfortunate. But now we move on to this one. So D1, 500k rings. So do not get rings in Green Hill. Else if you want to, I mean, go ahead, get rings in Green Hill if you want. But if you do that, you'll probably be like around the age 60 to 70. Because it will take that long. I, I've done it, guys. I literally tried to get 500k rings in Green Hill. And ended up dying and getting re-resurrected. That's how long it took. But I highly recommend you guys going to the chemical plant. Getting a magnet boost to complete the first day. Pretty sure everybody has the same quest for the first day. So what you need to do. Complete day one. Next day is a different challenge. Which is day two. It will probably be collect. Level up a hundred times. Then day three will probably be like. Collect a million gold rings every single day you'll get a different challenge until you get Rhoda's tails pretty sure if you miss a day it might get reset or oh, I'm pretty sure meaning that it's actually like a really good skin as you can see it's like rainbow 
I'm pretty sure if you don't complete a challenge for challenge today and you miss a day, then you might not actually get the skin, believe it or not. And what is up with like all the okay? What is up with all the terrible areas? Like look at all of this. This is so bad. Where's the huge long lines of golden rings? Did they like remove it or something? Man, this area got nerfed. Look like, really bad. Come on. Come on, Sonic Speed Simulator developers. What are you playing at? Literally, you can't even go underneath. You can't do anything. So boring. This area is so terrible now that you can't go under. Literally, it's so bad. But like, generally, this is the worst area. You can't even go under. You literally. Oh, we got more lines of golden rings. Have we got a pet piece? There we go. So we need to get 500,000, guys. That's what you need to get to complete day one. But I'm pretty sure the best area to get gold rings probably Lost Valley or something. So just try grinding in Lost Valley, guys. Oh, this got nerfed a little bit. Oh, yeah, this did get nerfed. So it's still Metal Sonic, but I'm pretty sure these ladders was not here. Yeah, these ladders was not here. Yeah, it's terrible. Oh, I don't know, guys. You just need to get 500 Tesla rings to get Riders tails that's what you need to do it's gonna take a very long time i'm not sure how you guys are gonna do it just gotta get collect rings for like a good few hours believe it or not i mean having a magnet boost will severely help you out so if you guys want that just let me know but yeah i mean that's everything i want to show you and i guess i'll see you one for the very next video